guys i'm back with a new video thanks for coming back if this is not your first time and if it is your first time welcome how are you doing let's be friends like comment subscribe i know you're here why not so if you're used to watching my videos then you know got the bonnet on you know my hair is not done and it's a product review it's a product review and today's product review is going to be the cream of nature honey pure honey I have the conditioner I have the curl activator and I have the shine mist now no I did not pick up the shampoo because honestly I forgot like I'm gonna be real I completely forgot because I wasn't even supposed to be going into Walmart to get this so I kind of seen it and it's like ooh honey and I just kind of grabbed it so yeah I don't got the shampoo oh well so I'm gonna go in first with the cream of nature honey uh pure honey moisturizing dry conditioner it's for dry dehydrated hair it has pure honey, rich coconut oil, and creamy shea butter with no sulfates. And this was $5. Each one of these were $5. And I got it at Walmart. Um, let's see what's in it. It locks in moisture, smooths, and softens, controls frizz, and untangles hair. Hmm. Let's give it a smell. Oh, this smells. Mm. You know what this reminds me of, though? A mocha coffee bottle. I, like, I don't drink coffee, but like something like this is like what those little coffees come in, and it looks almost like it is. But anyway, you know, it doesn't have a real. I mean, it smells like something, but it's not like a good. Like it's not a bad smell. It's like. It's okay. It's not a, oh my god, it smells good. It's like a, it's, it's alright. It's alright. So that's the conditioner. And then I also have the curl activator. Now I used this once already. Um, but I already had product in my hair. So I think it might work pretty good. But I'm not sure. Because I already had gel and stuff in my hair. And I put this in. Um, so we'll see. See, this one smells good, but they're not like super strong smells, but they, this one smells good. It smells good. Um, this has the same thing, honey, coconut, shea butter. Um, it's supposed to not let your hair shrink up, you know? You know, because everybody's talking about shrinkage. This is supposed to help with the shrinkage. We'll see. It's supposed to define, elongates, curls, and coils. Create bouncy, soft curls, moisturize hair, and add shine. So, we'll see. And this was also $5. It was like $5 some change. So, you know. And this is 10.5 fluid ounces, while the conditioner is 12 fluid ounces. The next thing I also have is the shine spray. Um... I also used a little bit of this. See, this one smells good. This one smells like a cute perfume. But I've also used some of this. Um, but again, I already have product in my hair. So I'm not going to really say how it made it look or feel. Because I had other stuff in my hair. So I don't want that to be the hit or miss of the reason why it did or didn't work. You know, So I'm going to use this today as well. This is silicone free lightweight shine mist for dry dehydrated hair. It has honey, coconut oil, and shea butter with no alcohol, minerals, or sulfates in silicone. This is four four ounces, which was also five dollars. I guess that was good. I bought it. This adds shine, humidity resistant, refreshes and moisturizes hair. You put spray evenly on damp or dry hair. Style as usual. For extra shine, reapply to hair as often as needed. 
so we'll see we'll see and if this does do pretty good then I'll just go back and get the um shampoo because I feel like a shampoo like this that has the honey and the coconut oil and all that stuff in it I feel like will be really really good because lately I've been getting a lot of shampoos that really been making my hair feel really dry and I don't know if that's just me or what so I have to figure that out so I'll buy the sh if this does really good I'll buy a shampoo and another thing, I'm also thinking about doing, like, I don't want to say giveaway because they're used products, but there's products that I haven't used. Well, comment down below, what do you think I should do with products that I don't use anymore? Because I, I have that tons of products and I would hate to throw them away because they're old or throw them away because, you know, I'm not using it. I gave some to my sister, but... She's only 12. There's only so much stuff she could use. She's learning her hair as well, which is good to start younger. So when you get older, you don't have a bunch of products that you have to do this too. So I don't know what I'm going to do with all of it. Like, I don't want to throw it away. And I mean, I guess I'll just give it to people. But at the same time, it's like, I did spend like $10 on this one product. I don't think I was going to skip it away. But I think someone had DM'd me and said that I should sell it on like Poshmark and stuff. But Comment below, would y'all consider buying products that are used? Like, they've been used like once or twice. Like, would y'all, would people consider buying stuff like that? Let, let me know down below. And if not, then I'll just probably throw it away. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go wash my hair. I'm gonna wash in the sink. One, I already took a bath. Two, I really don't feel like putting on the swimsuit. Or a t shirt, wash my hair, and it's wet, the water's, the floor is wet, and it, I really don't feel like it right now. So, I'm going to wash my hair soon. Like I did when I first started YouTube, I washed my hair in the sink. And so, that's what I'm going to do. And I guess I'll take your guys with me, and then I guess I'll go in the bathroom and style it with. Just this, and I'm going to do anything else. Let me check. Yeah, this is a pride with their hair, so I'm not going to, I'm just going to get water, my water bottle, and use this and this spray down and let's see how it works. So, come on. Alright, so I decided that I'm going to deep condition my hair with it as well. So, I'm just going to add more conditioner. This conditioner, by the way, is super thick. Like, look at that. It was so thick. So, I'm going to add a little bit more to the front. I'm take my handy dandy Walmart sack. That over. I haven't deep conditioned my hair in a while. Like two weeks. So it needs this. I'm going to take this. And I'm going to go sit under the dryer and I'll be back within 30, 35, 45 minutes. So here is my hair fully washed. I already washed the conditioner out. I let it sit in for about 30 minutes. And I sat under the dryer for about 20 minutes. 
So here's what it's looking like. It is soft. So just gonna part my hair down the middle. Well, really on the side. There we go. That's the best part I've ever done in my life. Now I'm just gonna take the rest of this and I'm just going to put it up like this and then I'm going to work on this side I'm going to do this right here and I'm just going to comb it out to take a little bit of this curl activator just take a little bit like that this is what it's looking like very creamy and I'm going to take it and I'm just going to rub some in here and I noticed something I would definitely rather have a cream during my washing goes than a gel I, just really, I don't like gels so yeah I'm just going to Take that Okay, they're forming. They're, they're getting there. It's getting there slowly but surely. Like can y'all see that? It's getting there. It's just not quite there yet. Let's see if I put some more in. coming through. Yeah, this is coming through or whatever. And now I'm in my bathroom, so I know definitely I hear my washer and dryer going. Sorry about that. I have to wash clothes today. So that's what that's looking like. Y'all can see it's a little curl. It's getting a little bit, but it's not super defined. So I'm going to go ahead and just do my whole head like this. And I will be right back. I'm back. And it took way longer than what I wanted it to take. But this is a finish done. Cute little wash and go as per usual. So, I'm not going to hold you guys out much longer. Let's go down the list. I sound like I'm getting sick, but I really am not. I just sneezed. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the conditioner. Yes. Very nice. It's super thick. So, it's very hard to come out the top. So, I have to literally open it for it to come out. But, I personally like the conditioner. And I will be buying the shampoo to see how the shampoo upholds to the conditioner. But it is very, very thick. Which, it should be thick because of the honey that's in it. Duh, I really just thought about that. It's honey in it, so it does going to be thick. But, nice. It still really doesn't have a smell to it. I mean, it's very... Like, it gives me, like, a, acrylic paint like water paint or whatever it's kind of giving me that smell it doesn't really smell like honey or coconut oil like I thought it would I mean there's a hint of honey but it kind of tastes, tastes ugh, smells more alcoholy I guess but anyway I like it it works my hair is really clean this is a great deep conditioner as well so this conditioner yes bomb.com the next thing I want to go over is the curl activator. And, I mean, I'll use it again because I will use this for a twist out. That makes sense. I will use this for a twist out. Wash and go. 
I mean, it, it's definitely made the curls longer than what they would have been if I used like a gel or something like that. But I don't, like it's been a couple, it's been like 20, 30 minutes since I've done it. And you still see the white, you probably can't see it on camera, but through the mirror or whatever, and real person or whatever, you can still see like it's really white through it out. So yeah, and it's very thick. This is also very thick. That's why, and this is why I like it. It's very thick, very creamy, very moisturizing. So it is very good for a a moisturizer. But I wouldn't do this for a washing up. But for a moisturizer, this is a yes. This is something I would use. Like I said, for a twist out or like if I do Bantu knots or something like that, I will use this to coat, like to keep my hair moisturized with the oil. So th this is a yes to me, but a no for a wash and go, if that makes sense. And it also really doesn't have a smell, but I like it. Again, these two right here, really good. Um, they're very thick, very moisturizing, so you would definitely get a bang for your buck. And they're $5, which is very cheap compared to lots of buff bar. The next thing was this Miss Shine. And honestly, it smells good, but I'm not noticing any more shine than normal. I mean... This shine, it's a no for me. Personally, I wouldn't buy it. Maybe, it's, I mean, it smells good. So, I, I, I'm not mad at it. I would spray it in my hair. Like I said, Bantu Notch or anything like that. And just spray it in my hair for the smell. But adding shine, I just, it's a no. It's, it's a no. So, like I said, I've been having this in for a couple minutes now. And it's just a no for me. But like I said, it smells really good. And this is not thick at all. Like, this is very watery. So, maybe I could use this as an oil instead of a mist. Maybe I'll use it as an oil. I will see how that would work. But, um, because it got coconut oil, pure honey, and shea butter. So, it's good for the hair. So, I might just try to use this as an oil and less of a spray, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. But... It's cute or whatever. I probably, after I run out, I mean, you see how much is in there. I probably, after I run out of this, I probably may or may not buy more. Like I said, it's really watery. I probably won't buy more. My other camera is messing up again. So, comment down below. What do you think is a good camera to use? Because that camera is really about, I'm really about done with it. Uh, I've been looking for a new camera. But I'm not, I mean, been looking for a camera, but I haven't really been finding anything that, like, worth the money, I guess. So, yeah, if you guys know any place that, as far as Amazon, had really good cameras, comment them down below or DM me. That would be great because I need a new camera. Like, this is not even a joke. This camera, you can't even charge it. It needs batteries, and I go through batteries, like... I only make like two videos a month, sometimes more, but two videos a month, and the fucking camera dies. Anyway, if you know a good camera, just let me know down below, or DM me, that'll be fine. And also, I want to start a new segment on the channel called Natural Hair Disasters, or Natural Hair Nightmares, or... Something like that. Something, you know, where you guys send me your natural hair horror stories. And I will shout you out on here. And I will tell your story. So if you want to be featured in any future videos, just email me at curly.red with three Ds. I will also have that right here. And I will also have that in the description box below. If you feel like you have a story that needs to be told, Especially about your hair or anything like that. Please email me and give me all the details and your Instagram, your email, all that good stuff. And I'll put it up on the screen if you want. And I'll tell your story and maybe give my opinion on it. On it. So yeah, that's, 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 I'm going to start a new segment next week. And I just find that 
it'd be cool to interact better with the subscribers and interact better with my followers on Instagram. So you also can email me or DM me on Instagram. I also have a Twitter, but I don't get on it. So, I mean, it's there. If you ever, I mean, I, I, I'll put that down below as well. I don't ever use it or get on it, so it's really pointless. But definitely email me or DM me your horror stories and I will definitely get back to you and I will make a video about your story and if you don't want me to say your name I won't if you don't want me to give out your Instagram or your Twitter or your e I'm not gonna give out your email but you know you want me to change your name or whatever I totally will it's totally fine but I definitely feel like we need these stories to be told no one's talking about them no one's like, you know, hey, this is what happened to my hair, and now I have to cut it. You know, nothing. So, please, email me or DM me, and I will share your story. And as far as these, um, the nat the cream of nature goes, mm, two out of three ain't bad. So, I mean, this camera, it looks different. It looks better. I still don't care for it. And I like cranes better than gels, but this is just, it giving me gel. Like, it's not hard or anything, but the shrink, it's not shrinkage. It's not that bad shrinkage, but it's, you know, you know, so. Yeah, but, like I said, I'll put all the details to email me and DM me your stories put all the descriptions and all that good stuff down below along with my Instagram and email. So, yeah. Let's make this year fun. And let's talk about it. And, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye, guys.